Hi, I'm Jen Garrett, the inpatient transplant physician assistant at UC Health, and I'm going to share some information and advice on how to manage your transplant wound and other surgical issues. The liver transplant wound is complex, and there are many issues that we should discuss in terms of managing your wound. First of all, you will notice that your transplant will leave a very large scar that is either a curved incision or what we call a Mercedes incision. Either way, the management is the same. Here is an example of a curved incision, what we call a subcostal incision, and here is an example of a Mercedes incision. All patients get staples after their transplant. These staples come out at around three to four weeks after the transplant, depending on how the wound is healing. It is not uncommon for the staples to cause a little bit of redness from local irritation of the wound. The staples may hurt a bit and cause some irritation. I know you are going to want to have them removed sooner, but it is important we leave them in long enough because a lot of the medications you are taking can sometimes prevent wound healing. Once the staples are removed, you will have steri strips placed that will come off in about five to seven days. One of the biggest complaints patients have about their transplant wound is that they feel numbness underneath the incision on the right side. Unfortunately, this is universal. It happens to everyone and it never goes away. This numbness occurs because we had to cut the nerves under the skin to make our incision. Surprisingly, this is the one thing patients often complain about the most. But another common complaint is when you notice that you are leaking fluid from the wound. There is no cause for concern when the fluid is light pink or red in color. This fluid generally comes from the fat underneath the skin that tends to dissolve a little and induces fluid. This is a common and normal problem. That is why I recommend if you do have a leaking wound, try to keep it covered because it can stain your clothes and the leakage at times may be a lot or maybe just a little. Either way, your wound may leak somewhat sporadically and you won't be able to predict when it happens. Fluid leaking from the wound usually occurs during the first few weeks after the transplant. It will just stop as the skin seals around the incision. So it's really just a short-term problem, but one that annoys many patients. If you develop significant redness, warmth on the incision, or experience an increase in pain, please call us. This may be due to a local skin infection. These types of infections are often treated with antibiotics, and therefore your transplant coordinator needs to know about it. Another problem is the wound starting to open up. If that happens, please call your transplant coordinator as soon as possible. You may see some stitches underneath your incision, which is where your drains used to be, or stitches in your neck where your lines used to be. If they are still there two to three weeks after discharge, please let us know and we will be sure to remove them. Another common issue that we see is that post-transplant patients deal with leg swelling. Your legs will swell as your kidneys are recovering from the transplant. The kidneys are closely related to the liver and due to the surgery, the kidneys may not work as well. This may lead to retained fluid. We will actively try to remove the fluid with diuretics or water pills, but the most important thing you can do to help minimize the swelling is to keep your legs elevated when you are sleeping, watching TV, or doing normal activities. As you move around more, you may notice more swelling over time. This will go away eventually, but it is a common problem in the first few weeks following the transplant. Men may also experience swelling in the scrotum. This is very similar to leg swelling and will go away over time. Lastly, if you have a fever of greater than 101 degrees Fahrenheit, we want you to know that you need to call your transplant coordinator as soon as possible. They will give you further instructions on what to do next. They may suggest Tylenol. Please know Tylenol at a dose of less than two grams a day is perfectly fine. What that means is two to three doses in a 24 hour period of 650 milligrams but please do not take more than that. I hope that this video answers some of your questions regarding your wound, wound care, and other surgical issues that arise after your transplant. Remember, managing your wound after transplant surgery is an important part of recovery. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact the transplant office. Thank you.